for this portrait project, we already did all the studies prepared for this moment to create a final watercolor painting. We first start with a charcoal drawing, and then we are using graphite pencils to draw the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the hair, the head, and then use watercolor to study the eye, the nose, the mouth. Also, I talk about how to mix colors from the three primary colors for the skin tone and every colors that we need for the watercolor paintings. Now we are starting doing the final watercolor portrait painting of this smiling girl. For the background, I don't want to keep it just white. Use the background to help to make their main object to stand out. First, let's use some light color to do some drawing. Bottom of the hair is over here. The top of the head would be here. The hair coming down over here. The bottom of the chin, it will be here. And the head is about here. Getting the correct impression right from the beginning, very important. So we're going to carry that impression and that feeling through this entire painting process. I'm going to take a look at the background. I'm going to have, yeah, some purple color, some little red color, a little bit yellow color. At this point, I can start at the color for the skin. Okay, I'm going to get the yellow color with the red color and a little bit more yellow. If there's too bright and then you add a little blue color and it will tone it down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to start that from this corner. We're going to use a new way to measure. Right now we just put the color in, focus on the bigger composition. I'm just going to use the clean brush. Now soften those color, have them to connect together, have a feeling of the skin. Now darker color for the hair. Take the present blue, some red color. I'm going to start with the outside still a little wet. So come back to do that a little more. Okay, now on this side, have some brown color for the head, maybe a, even a little purplish color. And here you go. I'm going to paint some color into the neck. I think I have a little bit more red. That's good. We're going to use this small calligraphy brush and just come in here. I'm going to make some really dark color. Start with. Okay. Now I'm going to start over here. I think this should be where it started from the forehead over here. And I think the eyebrows right over here. Don't be afraid that you're going to make mistakes. Okay. Now take a look at the eye. Let's compare the nose first. Eyebrows, the nose, and the nostrils probably over here. Let's take a look. Okay. This nostril over here, like that. The bottom nose over here, like that. The corner of the mouth about over here like that and coming all the way here let's take a look screen your eyes so we can compare a little bit better here you go now put a little color over here like that let's go and then i'm going to put some red color that's the red color that's good. The lip could be a little bit higher, but let's see. Let's put it on here first, and we're going to come back to do the adjustment. I'm going to use this a half inch. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to remove this a little bit too much blue color. 
I can have a little bit more orange color on the cheek over here later. But right now, I just try to smooth things a little bit. Now, stop using the form. I want that transition from the here. Take a little red color. Uh, put it here for the side of the cheek. They have more red. Much darker. I'm going to mix some really dark color. Like that. That's good. Now we're going to work into the eyes. I'm going to come back, use this click of your brush. Okay, we're working to this eye first. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker color. A little bit darker, maybe start with a little brown color. So I'm going to mix the yellow and the red and the blue colors. So this will maybe a little bit more red. Okay. Now I'll take a look at this corner. Like that. Like that. It's good. And the uh, iris. The left side, the right side. Okay. Like that. That's good. Lip and painting around the highlight. That's good. Now take a look at the corner over here and the lower eyelid area. And I use this same color and coming to the line. That's good, like that. Let's work a little bit into the eyebrows. Okay, this would be the perfect color. Okay, like this. Here, but still probably still too wet. I add a little color here for now. now. I'm gonna look at the side over here at probably this color. Okay, now coming here. Now we have a little bit cooler color. Yeah, here we go. Start from the corner over here. That's good. I will do the eyelashes next step. That's good. I also have the corner over here. Like that. And I have inside the eyelashes. The 
iris is right in here. The pupil right in the middle. That's good. Okay. I'm going to move to this side. Okay, start over here. Part of the dark color actually the eyelashes. Like that. Have a little bit more blue. There you go. Even darker. center is the pupil. And now I'm going to just add this color here. I know it's a little bit too much. So I use the water to dilute it. So very much I mix the color on the paper. Okay. And the corner here have some yellow orange color. Like that. And there you go. Like that. And on this side, I'm going to soften that a little bit. And also close up a little bit over here. That's good. Move up a little bit. Now come down to the nose. And I'm going to have a little bit darker tone to set it into the nostril. Start with this color. Take a look. The nose, nostril. So about here and on this side like this and like that good I come back with a deeper tone a little bit later. Okay, now I'm going to come into the mouth and I'm going to work a little bit darker color in the side and in the corner. Okay, first in here. Like that. Little turn here. That's good. And take a look at the corner of the mouth. Like that. And on this side, have a little triangle. Have a little red color on the side here, like that. That's good. Now come to add a little red color. To the lip. Yeah, 
That's good. And I'm gonna have a little texture. And the inside over here, a little bit darker red. That's good. Now, up here, also make it a little bit flat. It may be turned too much. Okay. And on the T, I'm gonna have a little bit gray color, like that. And on this side, have a little bit, and this side, tone it down a little bit, so leave the center a little bit lighter. So it's good. And let's see. And now I'm going to, coming back to the eye. And let's see the eyelash. The eyebrows need to a little bit darker. And here too. That's good. Now I'm gonna come in to do the eyelashes. So I'm gonna also take this color. corner over here, a very thin line. Like that. And then on the lower eyelid. Now I'm gonna add a little light red color. And for the inside over here above the T. good. A little bit softer too, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna add uh, a little bit darker color uh, at the bottom, the gap of the T. Okay. Okay, here. Here you go. this a little gap okay a little gap over here and now I'm gonna add uh, some darker color to the painting a little bit darker brown color yeah a little bit blue kind of into that and now I'm gonna also here Put a little suggestion for the hair. Like this. That's good. Okay. I'll come back in here. First, on the forehead here. That's good. And now, take a look. That's good. Look again. Come in a little bit. Okay. That's all right. Now let's take a look at the head. And we need to give it enough suggestion. Let's see a little line over here. That's good. Now a little darker over here. Like 
like that. That looks good, perfect. If you have uh, a good paper, the correct color, almost the process can be uh, close to unlimited. You can work on it for a long time. Okay. And now this painting is finally finished.